All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Deponia. Yep, says it right there on the screen. Yeah, so, what is Deponia? Deponia is a point and click adventure game series by Daedalic Entertainment. Uh, Welcome to Deponia is the first installment. Uh, today we're playing Deponia The Complete Journey, which actually has all three games uh, of the Deponia trilogy in one package. So we're starting off with Welcome to Deponia, and I'm very excited because I've been on a big point and click binge lately, and I've never actually played the Deponia series, but I've always had them like highly recommended to me because people often call uh, Daedalic Entertainment the LucasArts of Germany, which is, in my opinion, extremely high praise because LucasArts made some of the best point and clicks ever made. So, high expectations for this. Why don't you come along and join me on this journey? Let's, uh, let's get started. <laughs> It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Solid intro. I do love that intro song. Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh my bad. That was junk too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time, everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Alright, so... First things first, we need to turn... I apparently have dev commentary on, I thought I turned that off. Huh. Alright, so we got rid of the dev commentary, which means the face isn't here anymore, which is good. So... Let's open our suitcase. Just ah, wait. here's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. A toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt okay. cutter? What the... Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. So basically, this um, starting area, we have to find the four things on the list. To, uh... I don't know what these do. Probably hints or something. Uh, so yeah, let's take the torch. Let's take oil can. This is the part I've done, so I know vaguely what I'm doing. I think you can look at this. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. Sick burn, bro. I can sleep when I'm dead, or if I survive and uh, get confined to bed with broken legs. Yeah, that seems reasonable. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Alright, we have a sock. Uh, I don't think you can open this. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. <laughs> oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the Ponia without me. Alright, so we can head further down. So we have hand torch, kind of used our list, and one sock. So we need, still checking, yeah, we need two socks, uh, provisions, a toothbrush, and a bolt cutter. So we have bits of these, we have one of the two socks. <laughs> You're so curious about the trunk, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Tony's room. Ah! 
Well, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Another note from Tony. What's she complaining about now? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. I don't think we can get into that. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. Uh, I don't think there's actually anything in the bathroom. Oh, plunger. That's what we want. There's our toothbrush. Whoa. Unfortunately, our what toothbrush the, has other the ideas. Toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Bolt cutters. Uh, detergent. Cool. So we got bolt cutters. That's one of the four down. This guy's gonna hang around there. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Yeah, we can't leave. I thought so. So we need to go downstairs. Uh, we need this fork. Uh, <laughs> bitchin' post. You've scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. It's yellow suck. Isn't there anything left to eat in this house? Typical. Tony's working all day, and I'm left to starve. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Yeah, they will. Oh, Fine. yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. Ah, <laughs> oh, lovely. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. So we now have three socks. Yeah, we have blue sock, yellow sock, green sock. We have plunger. We have a bunch of notes. Fork, detergent, bulk car. I do like this, the way they start this game off. They give you a whole crap ton of items, and they, like, confine you in an area, um, which I think is quite good design because they want you to solve some puzzles in here, but they don't want you to be, like, able to wander off and like sort of get lost in what exactly you need to accomplish it so they kind of lock you in like we can't go out of this door we can't go out of the door up there so you're kind of locked in this three-story house which is like it's like everything you need to answer these puzzles is in these rooms so yeah figure it out you're not supposed to eat on the sofa i keep finding leftovers in it <coughs> well isn't that a good thing yeah Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. But without something to put them into, yeah, I'm not collecting them. Uh, Oil is the can we need to use to collect the peas in. But it's full of oil at the minute. Can I just dump it? Or do we need it? I don't remember. Let's get rid of this thing. Yeah. Cool. Now I have empty can. Yeah. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. I also like, um, so if we look at the, uh, the list again, everything you need is actually, um, like, this is visually what it should look like as well. So this is actually a hint that you're supposed to use the oil can to pick up the end. You're supposed to use the oil can and you're supposed to find peas because that's literally what you're looking for. This specific can with these peas in. And as you can see, yeah, that's what we found. So that's kind of cool as well. Um, trying to think what else we need. So I think we do it in this order. We need to put the... Yep. And we need to put detergent in it, I think. There we go. We also need to heat this up. Uh, can we light it? With, I think. Oh, I remember what we do. So we can. We need to light it with the hand torch. We don't have any fuel. So yeah. Uh, let's use these Here notes. There you go. 
Nice. Shit that. So now we have a nice boiling uh, thing. Uh, so we want to put all the socks in there now. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Oops. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. How good is he going to do it a third time? Nope. Okay, so all three in there. And then use the fork. Whoa, look at that. The sock changed color. Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Clear case of subtractive color mixing. See, so yeah, basically that's how you get two green socks together. You use the fork to, to pull them out. Uh, yeah, you, you, you have one green sock and then you use the blue and the yellow sock to make the other green sock. Because obviously you need matching socks, right? So, uh, we are missing... We're missing the toothbrush now. So, we I think we have everything we need. I think we need to use the plunger on this. Yeah, on the least pod there. Ouch! Oh. Uh, we have a mouse trap. The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. <laughs> uh... I'm not sticking my hand in there again. This is the one I always forget. I think we just dropped the mouse, put the mouse thing in here, but it doesn't have any bait. Nah, I don't think this will work. Do we use a pee, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Trap with bait. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Uh, so you have everything. So we need to go and put it in, in the suitcase. Uh, provision, provisions, suitcase. Provisions, check. Get a nice ding sound. Socks, check. Toothbrush. Toothbrush, check. And finally, bolt cutters. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason, check. Ha, <laughs> seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Oh, seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? So now we have to pick something to unpack. Uh, I believe you can only unpack one thing, and I believe it's the bolt cutters, but let's see. It doesn't take that much space. Yep. It doesn't take that much space. It doesn't take that much space. Yep, just the bolt cutters. I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it sits. Packed and ready to go. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. <laughs> As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. All right, so now we have to build this pod thing. So, um, wrench, probably useful. Control panel, harpoon. Uh, storage space. Let's get the suitcase on. 
There. And now? There. Now where shall I put it? Save it. There we go. Uh, so basically you need to make everything fit in this. I think we need to remove the seat with the wrench. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? Hmm, okay. Door pod. What else is around? I can go back into the house. I don't think we need to. Uh, removing the seat, I know, is a thing you have to do. I remember that. Let me talk to Wenzel. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Any signs of the Organon yet? No, but they'll be here. The Organon are always on time. It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. Reasonable. What else do you know about the Organon? Just as little as you. So that's really nothing. Exactly. Their motives are as unclear as our water. Good thing they leave us <laughs> What alone. an analogy. See you later, Wenzel. You've always been a loyal companion, my friend, my helper, my sidekick. I was your sidekick? I always thought you were my sidekick. What? I'll go back to work then. Okay, then I think I remember what to do. You haven't got much time left. I think we need to go back inside because I think we can now go out the front of the house. I might be wrong, but let's find out. Just leave this going, it's fine. Yeah, we can go out the front of the house. Yeah, I remember. We need to, um... Ooh, chili pepper. Tony always had weird tastes concerning flowers. Let's take a chili pepper. Ouch! Hot! Oh, not. Uh, we don't really have anything to pick it up with. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Hannah. Hey, um... Uh... Well, uh, Rufus. Ah, I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through <laughs> this tunnel. Hey. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Alright, so. Uh, what we need to do is use the wrench, get the mailbox. Nice. I think that's all we need. So again, like, I feel like, so, we were, we were, um, trapped in that three-story house to do, um, some of the puzzles now. Then it's let us go out, and this is kind of, I guess, trying to teach you that sometimes you need to go elsewhere to find the solutions to your puzzles. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> ha! There you go! Now we open the mailbox, and we can fit the battery inside it. Ha, there you go. This looks there. so safe. Is right. Just just now, pinnacle of safety right there. Calibrate the harpoon. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then I'm gone. <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. So yeah, like we have to get this crosshair onto some point of this track. So like here, I guess here, here, there probably works too. But um, some of the contra like up and these these directions don't work. So we got a bit of a logic puzzle here. Uh, do that. No, we need to. A 
Okay, this didn't work. Uh, so close. No, we need it on that bit. We need to get to this square because then that'll go. So that's going to take me there. Damn it! <laughs> this would work, but I need to use this one, which I can't. Um... So yeah, there's a bit of like logic puzzle stuff in here as well, which is kind of nice. And that doesn't work at all because you have to be able to move the thing. Um... That's that. So hang on. That moves like that. What's up? And then that does it like that. Okay. So close to getting it, but not quite. I'm trying to think how this would work. It's going to put me one square shot. There we go. I did it! Now, I'll just light the fuse and boom! Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Totally oh, wasn't that me. That reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. One second. This is Deponia, Thomas. That's what this is. Let's go. Let's go with... No, it's this too one. late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? <laughs> this is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. Uh, sick bud. Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Uh... So we got the lined up, so we need to light the fuse. I've welded this thing long enough. Uh, oh, that's the now fuse. Is when it counts. Hullabaloo. This can't possibly go wrong. I mean, this is just the pinnacle of safety right here. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... 
Please sign enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws. <laughs> 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 We did it, guys! <laughs> Alright, uh... He is amazingly athletic. Ooh, what a maneuver! Hey, my suitcase is here too! It must have got entangled in the chain! Nope, we have our luggage. <laughs> Just like I planned. <laughs> Alright. So, provisions. Sucks. Uh, we can't take the toothbrush, though. So, now we need to get up uh, to one of these. Funny we had bolt cutters. A wire grating. There's a shaft leading upward behind it. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh! I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here <laughs> got a bolt cutter? God damn it. Alright, we need to improvise. I don't think we can do anything to this one. I think it's the, the cogs we have to mess with. I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. I don't know. It's. That, yeah. I don't know why we're leaving our living toothbrush there, but we are. Uh, I have a feeling we. It already has plenty of oil stains. Oh, is it a pee we throw in there? I think I remember what we do. And then. We can put the socks with the hatch. Like that. Yeah. And then it doesn't shut. Now we have a new bolt cutter. We made it ourselves. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. Yeah, wait but till Cletus hears about it. But you telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan I don't know why that guy's son? voice is so loud. Just you wait, Ms. Go. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke, a real orbit pixie. I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. Alright, guys, we can do this. Alright, so they're standing under green. So let's turn the green one on. And uh, knock out, knock them out with trash. <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men? Throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you. See? <laughs> <laughs> First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh. Uh-uh. Well, 